Let's go down to Anne Arundel County, where Westmore's Republican challenger for governor, State House Delegate Dan Cox's campaign was tonight. And Paul Kessler has been there for us this evening. What's the latest from the team right now? Short, uh, with some very short remarks. The crowd is really starting to thin out now. It was a very tense evening uh, when those first results came in and the AP immediately called it. There was a sense of, whoa, we didn't expect it that quickly. He admits it's not looking good. He does say that most of the votes remaining to be counted are election day votes where he says he expects to do very well. He said, quote, I'm not going to lie to you. This is a very difficult race. I'm not doing as well. He continued in places like Baltimore County. He's trailing there at last check by tens of thousands of votes by about 40,000. And we have a little bit uh, uh, from him earlier. This is him about 15 minutes ago talking about his current state in the race. We're at a point where it's not looking good, but I can tell you this. Only 50% of the vote is counted. And every single vote from here out are votes mostly cast today. Some of whom were still in line when uh, predetermined statements were made by the media. But you know what? So a couple of lines throughout this um, evening and one there from Delegate Cox drawing some boos with regard to the media in this race and some of the polls that were out through uh, this campaign season. One thing we did not hear from Delegate Cox tonight is any type of concession in this race. No mention that he called Wes Moore or anything to that effect. So this looks like something that we're going to have to monitor in the coming days in terms of as more of these batches of votes come in, what uh, what Delegate Cox says. Now, the campaign says it reached about 70,000 voters. They're really happy with the ground game. Right now, though, even an admission from Delegate Cox is not looking good at this hour. Still, no concession here in Annapolis. For now, reporting live, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.